There is no way we can heal just through talk therapy. It has to be a mind-body-soul experience. There is no other way. We have to use our breath. We have to allow things to release from our body from movement. We have to incorporate joy. All those things together is what embodies this program. And I just am so honored to be the leader of it and cannot wait for more to come. I like the vision of the program and I like that the program offers so many things to people in need and wellness is such an important aspect of society that most people do not um, focus on and a lot of people take mental health, wellness and well-being for granted. I really like that we let mental health or challenging things be talked about in a human sense and while doing that we we bring together community and we bring together movement and mindfulness like actually embodying change so that it's not just us talking and rehashing something but instead it's us really moving forward through embodied action of change something that's very important to me is the whole mind body soul aspect of recovery um, something that I think is, is greatly overlooked. Um, and I like how there's sort of this divergence of sort of Eastern and Western medicine and mental rehabilitation, um, that you have brought this, I don't know, it's sort of a positively charged aura into the realm with yoga, physical fitness, um, and general therapy as well, which has really, really made um, sort of a tenfold difference in many people's lives. And I think that there's not just one route to recovery. And I think that you've acknowledged that, you recognize that. And this organization is something that I think down the road is gonna be so much bigger and so much grander than what it really set up to be. Um, and that's really a testament to your work and building this organization and bringing the people in um, that really follow this philosophy and believe in it. Um, and know that it works and it, it's proven. It's proven that it does work. So the second time I was in rehab uh, for alcohol addiction, I was committed to changing and I was committed to making this a path of recovery this time. Like this time it was gonna be different and nothing was working. AA wasn't working. I was a fitness instructor. I'd been a social worker and uh, was dealing with the grief of my mom. She had just died and nothing was working. And I was sitting in rehab and was a mess and was on my yoga mat because that was the only place that I felt safe and the only place that allowed me to feel free. So what I ended up doing was writing every moment that I was on my mat that was really difficult and ended up creating a curriculum from that. So I would write abandonment or fear or anything that was hurting and I would just write and write and write and then cry and then do downward dog and then do child's pose. <laughs> and those moments were the moments that created the studio. It's those moments that created the Be Free coaching model. It's all the mission and what's behind who I hire and the utmost respect I have for the community, for healing, for trauma. For not only is like coaching for, you know, trying to get yourself in the mental frame of mind, but also to like help with whatever you personally need like sometimes I just need to vent or sometimes I you know want to like meditate for like five minutes and then we go and do like a kick-ass workout or um, you know sometimes we'll do yoga and kind of like slow things down so it kind of gives those options of you know not only being able to talk but being able to kind of move your body as well I had a lot of feedback after my experience through the training that Everyone saw something new spark inside of me since I started working with you and um, being here and going through the training. It was just like a switch had been changed from not looking at some of my past stuff and then boldly facing it in a 
actually joyful way. Like it felt good to look at things and uh, address it as my spirit wanted and needed. People really deserve to feel healthy and free. And so um, if people have a community like this, it really can save a life. Um, and so all the donations and all the money that goes to us really goes to the healing and wellness of the community. We're already accomplishing so many things and we're just getting started. So we have so much potential and no limitation to what we can accomplish and the outreach of people we can reach on a local and hopefully on a national level at some point. I love the classes. I love, um, I've done Pound, I've done Zumba, I've done Yoga, um, and then like the coaches just, they're all so unique and so personable. Like they even, like on your social media will comment like, wow, you look great, or hey, are you coming to class? Like they make it so interpersonal with you. So, you know, that's the, like, it's like a community. Like you feel connected. Whereas like if you go to, uh, you know, another gym, you might not feel as connected to the community. You kind of like make it like a family, which is really nice. This is your brothers, sisters, parents, neighbors, Everyone has something going on and it's our community. In order to build a stronger community, you wanna help your family members, you wanna help your friends and that's what this program is gonna do. I feel like this is something that's gonna be much bigger and it won't just benefit localized communities, but it'll be more macro and I think it's gonna become more of a broader movement um, beyond the jurisdiction of our townships, our state, and it's gonna bleed into other areas of this country and hopefully it'll become a global movement. I think it's very important to service the veterans because uh, obviously there's very su high suicide rates and the community itself often doesn't get enough attention. It's hard to work within the VA service system and usually there's a timeline, but mental health and wellness doesn't have a timeline. It can't wait months to get appointments. So the purpose of starting the nonprofit was to really allow people to have access to mental health and wellness and really give honor to people that are struggling with trauma and recovery and addiction um, and just are stuck in their lives and racial trauma and social justice to really allow a program to be offered to folks um, that may not be able to afford it. Um, and really the purpose was to have people be able to have a place and a home that they can feel is their community um, and that money isn't a barrier. And so the way that we do that through the nonprofit is through donations, through grants, the generous kindness of the community that helps to donate and to keep this program running. 